But yeah, I decided to just uh, play for myself a little bit, you know, get the, the weapons I like using. Otherwise, it's just going to be too painful to go get back to Elden Ring. Especially after Armored Core. You heard Xbox players play at 150? I've seen some uh, some Japanese tournament players from Dark Souls 3 that play Elden Ring like all the time at 150. But I don't think the meta is the same in every every uh, community. Although one thing's for sure though, they, they don't play at max level. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a good idea to have Vikes on this build? Yeah, it would probably be a good idea, except that... Um, I don't have the decks for it. With that said though, that's not a good excuse because... I don't have the decks for uh, the end spur either, but if I have to use it, I'll put on Okino Mask. So we could definitely have Vikes with Okino Mask. It's just that I think from what I remember, Vikes scales off of decks, and this is not a dex build. So correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think Vikes would be optimal for this. With that being said though, when you're fighting someone that has latency, you don't really care about the damage, you just want the build up. <laughs> Is he gonna die before we get there? That's the question I always ask myself in every invasion. He's already fighting steel. We got a uh, Mr. Mage here. Hey, they're, they're both mages actually. I went past my spell and way, way too much. Hey, they got a blue. And well. God, it does no damage with the blue. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, wrong lock on, come on. Okay, let's play a bit more seriously here. No hit. Okay. Okay, we lost our magic defense. We need to get out here, get some cover. Can't play in the open, that's just not smart. Like two of them, you can fuck around and manage playing stupid, but uh, three of them you always have to be careful, even if they're really bad. Ah, oh, dang it, really overshoot. I can't really commit to anything, just pew 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 pew. Gameplay, as always. Yeah, can 
can get a shot in. Clean route was a mistake, honestly. Can't deny that. And there was a lot of mistakes. VHS was also a mistake. I mean, Quick Step was a mistake too. There's a lot of mistakes in this game. <laughs> you think Elden Ring was a mistake? Spells were a mistake. Honestly, I think they could have done a better job, but we say that for every Souls game, really. I don't think they nailed the spell yet. I think we can see how the best combat could shape up, but. I don't think we know what the spells would look like. I love overshoot. Giving rot to players was a mistake. <laughs> uh, well, I don't mind clean rot as much as other stuff, honestly. Or not clean rot, I mean uh, the rot status. I just think they just did a poor job with everything around it. Like, you know, Ansper. Ansper is just a, a bad way to implement, like, clean rot. Clean rot should, like, for instance, I think Ansper should, you should not be able to bundle Ansper Rapier. Uh, I think the rot bundles maybe do a little too much. And I think the rod boluses should be available from a merchant, you know? Simple stuff like that. Have you tried using left hand slot for faster swaps? Yeah, I don't like it. I like it right one or under the other. It's not faster for me. Yeah, I did collect all the spells and incantation. This character, uh, I went through the game and pretty much 100% it. Or almost. I think I'm missing like two or three things. Okay. Oops. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> you got the trophy? Yeah, that's one thing I really don't care about. <laughs> How much less silly Rodrit would be if it was poison instead? That's actually, uh, well, see, like, the thing is, I don't think rot, rot Brit is that silly because it rots you. I think it's more like, the problem is with the stun the da and the damage. So, a uh, uh, Dragon Brett can, well, I mean, a properly spec Dragon Brett can kill you. But that's a problem. If you get hit once, it's one of those things where you make one mistake and you're dead, right? So, as much as you can avoid the Dragon Brett under the right circumstances, you cannot always avoid it. You cannot, you cannot go under the premise that you'll never make a mistake. 
And not only that, some situations you legitimately can't do anything because you're getting team, team tagged, you're not in the right area, like you're in a closed space. Not, you know, not every attack is avoidable in every scenario, even if you play it perfectly. But with that being said, I don't think it's ever a good idea to give players like a lot of options that are one shots or very close to one shots. Like I remember clearly in Dark Souls 3, like you could not really get lucky with like a... There was no like like real one shots and invasions or if there was you needed like one of those builds that had like absolutely like zero armor like uh, zero health like all everything into offense like you don't really have to make that sacrifice in elden ring like i remember like the builds that did the most damage in dark souls 3 were pretty much like lightweight uh, cell sword builds with uh, dmb on it right like dark moon blade like the double uh, double cell sword and you were pretty much naked with that thing like that was the only thing that would come close to a one shot and it was not an absolute one shot either like you had to get an actual glass cannon here you don't really need a glass cannon if you spec your build properly like we did a ton of dragon streams already like you know you can have good armor you can have pretty much everything and if you spec your things right and you buff right your dragon breath will one shot even someone that has a uh, Proper health. Wing the twin axe were super high damage, but they were not one shot either. Akali, that's the thing. But I mean, it's true though that the the weapons that tend to do the highest burst damage tend to be the, what people use the most for invasions. And so, you know, Dragon Breath is a good option for invasions. Back in Dark Souls 3, you know, there's a reason why Cell Sword and Twin Axe uh, were so used in invasions because the high damage output. Same thing with Gundir, Lido, that sort of stuff. You know, it's funny because Lido and Gundir were actually the precursor of like every Ash of War in Elden Ring because like you get just a lot more Lidos and Gundir in Elden Ring. It's just that they're not used the same way, but a lot of these Ash of War kind of serve the same principle of doing like massive burst damage. I miss the, I miss Lido. I miss the Lido uh, weapon art. Wonder if they're going to bring it back in the DLC. You think invasion would feel worse in terms of balance? See, like that's what people that don't play invasion would say, uh, Kali. It, it it would absolutely hurt 90% of players, but it would favor the good players. So I, I would be for it. But I think like at the same time, they also need to increase the player limit. That's a different topic. Okay. I should net that one. Just completely skipping everything. Oh, it ate my input. Insane. I think we have the distance. We can do that though. Can't really have time to swap. Point. <laughs> It is, he just survived it. God, this guy is such disgusting shit in it. <clears throat> He's also dog shit, but at least his net is shit, so. Your net is shit. Make sure that even if you're dog shit, you're gonna be hard to hit, and it's gonna be easy to for you to hit people. And double spear already hit early, now if you're skipping, a whole different story. I think it's over though, we have a teammate. Right, let's kill this scrub.
Is Coliseum PvP dead? Uh, I heard it is. I haven't played in a little bit. I haven't played Elden Ring for a little bit. Like, this is our first stream in a while, so... I don't know if the activity changed for the last two weeks, but I don't think it would change that much in two weeks. Can I just knock you off? Oh, I don't think you can carry that. Thought he'd do a running attack. From what I've seen for other other streams, like it seems like P PC is a good place to be because uh, for one v one, and maybe not for invasions. I think I think actually I think PlayStation is probably a bit better than PC for invasions. From what I've seen, just because. Uh, a lot of PC players tend to use Seamless, which I completely understand. That's just my observation, though I don't know if it's any true. And then for dueling, uh, Seamless is also a good thing because, like, from what I've seen, like, they have all these cool, cool modes coming out. And it feels like uh, it's a good way to play with your friends. But with that being said, you know, a game is pretty dead if you can't do, like, pub matches. Uh, funny enough, I think the arena kind of killed duels a little bit because I feel like... I had more activity at Academy Gate, and I had a, a more fun time at Academy Gate than um, than the arena because I could pick and choose who I fought. So I could pick like the good players that were available, and I was able to like every time like I saw like X or Y good player, like we we would just like summon each other like back and forth for like a few hours. Whereas if you go into the arena, like you might get them once, and then that's it really. So I feel like being able to choose like you know. Being able to choose who you're fighting and make so, for some more enjoyable fight. Because if you just get to play in the arena, especially if you're if you're good at the game, like it's just not very fun because you're just going to be noob stomping. So you need to be playing people that you know. So, but you're not going to go around asking all of your friends if they're available, right? So when you have like something like where you can put their sign down, well, you just see whoever is on, right? You just see whoever is on, and then you get to enjoy. Whatever time you have with the with this person while they're on. So I do miss that aspect. Obviously, the 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 academy gate map sucks. There's no doubt about that. But with everything else that comes with it, yeah, you meet a good player, you either win or die, and then you never see them again for like three hours. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I mean, you remember, Kelly? Like we used to fight for like you know hours, right? Back uh, when academy gate was still a thing. I'm sure you remember. Like now, if we meet in the arena, it's one fight or maybe two fights sometimes. If we're lucky, like we're gonna meet again, like uh, later on. I mean, that was a while ago because I haven't played in a bit, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, we got a teammate, nice. This guy die. There you go. Over level souls count. Souls count. He does the souls count? Oh, he's not over level this time. Weird. Maybe he decided to save it. I would not be surprised because this guy always yielded like 300k, and he did have a lot of defense. So honestly, I think it's more likely that. He just decided to uh, to save it. Then this is his actual post count. Um. Easy, good shit, uh, Shadow. Dude, it's funny because Shadow, your armor. <laughs> You have so much poise that I hit you and the host with the Albert, but you tanked it, so you were able to finish him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Full goat moment. <laughs> I think they should uh, they should have fixed like the the reason why we don't have fight clubs is because of the player limit. Like the fact that you can't like have a rotation of players and multiple players into world. Like that's really ultimately what killed fight clubs. So, I mean the the issue is really there. It's the player limit that's the problem. And I mean, we know the player limit works, 
And it would work in certain areas for sure, 100%, because the arena proved us that it's possible to have 3v3s, so... Now that this is established, we also have Seamless that has, like, many modes now that are coming out with, like, vastly more players than the, than the game has. Now, I'm sure you, you would need, like, uh, something better than a PS4 or an Xbox One S, but might as well have a Switch port, right, at this point. Oh, that's a good choice, actually. Really? Actually, not meant to do that. Keep getting the baby jump. Ha, ha, ha. 